So in this video, we are upgrading to the Orion HD. And for those of you that are new, this is the GPI case case for and there's a Raspberry Pi inside there's a 2.5 inch screen and I've been modifying mine little by little when you first buy this case it comes with this little cartridge here stock but this is only going to hold a Raspberry Pi Zero inside and the Raspberry Pi Zero has less than a gigabyte of RAM and does not have the best processor but it's plug and play and it's fairly inexpensive <laughs> your next option is go to the CM3 Plus mod and uh, basically it allows for the CM three plus Raspberry Pi chipset, which is very similar to the Raspberry Pi 3B. And so it's going to unlock a lot more games and performance that the Raspberry Pi Zero can't. The problem with this though is you are limited to a small micro USB at the top and that's all. And this is where the Orion comes in. What the Orion does is it allows you to take these two USB ports and use them for external uh, adapters or controllers and then you have the HDMI out so within the RetroPie operating system you can go ahead and there's pre-built in scripts that allow you to swap this from a portable device to a external device to a TV so you could play on the go and then switch it to the TV now it's not hot swappable but it's actually fairly easy to do and I'm gonna show you how. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this package as well as some of the other add-ons I added, like the L and R upgrade, the wireless charging update grade with batteries to really turn this G Pi case into the next level. Ryan H D. So two extra USBs a micro SD and an HDMI out. So here's just the regular CM Plus and all you do is you get access to the their board. All they do is they give you access to the micro USB. But this they've now attached on two full size USBs way more convenient for controllers and things and then a full size HDMI port. All right. And now, as you see, I have, I'm running on an Xbox 360 style controller or Xbox One style controller, and uh, I can play, for example, Donkey Kong Country 1. So yes, my little Game Boy in the lower left-hand corner there is running this through HDMI to my monitor. All right, so here we go. Kong, baby. All right, so we just saved our state, and now I want to exit the game. And I'm going to go ahead and port. I'm just going to go ahead and restart it to LCD default, which is the screen here. I'm going to click that. We can go ahead and remove the HDMI cable. And then we have two options here. We can keep our Xbox 360 controller plugged in, or Xbox One controller plugged in, and keep using it and kind of you know, do portable gaming on a smaller screen. Or we can totally ditch the Xbox controller and have a truly portable system here. All right, so let's load Donkey Kong. It's loading. And let's go ahead and load our state. And there we are, back where we left off. You see that? Now we're on level two. So you can easily go between, it's not hot swappable. You do have to reboot the Pi, but you could go ahead and uh, save your state and then resume later, which is pretty darn cool. Um, so you can go from a portable device to go into like a party and adding the controllers and allowing you know other people to join in similar to you know the nintendo switch but way less money and way more retro okay so i can go out of that and uh you know everything runs on this really great from you know nintendo a game boy advance gonna run fine no lag to um playstation one and everything below it
take this peach. Oh, did I just hit her like three times? So this is one of my favorite 128 gigabyte images and I'll put a link to the video where I reviewed this particular image, but basically you can download a pre-made image or something like that. And then I'm sure Renegade Labs will send you the scripts or you could talk with them and they can send you those HDMI scripts so it can go from the full screen to the portable mode to the LCD screen here. And then you can still have, you know, tens of thousands of game collection. And that's really cool because a lot of the beefs I had with this image was like, hey, you know, a lot of these games I don't want to necessarily play on a two and a half inch screen. But now that you unlock the HDMI out, I would totally go for this image. So you have the option here to go with the pre-made image or build your own with the base image that they give you. So as far as the rechargeable batteries part, you get two of these pieces here. And all you have to do is wedge them into the upper left corner and the lower right corner and then push the batteries in. Those are then going to correspond with these two pads here when you put that on. And I don't know if you can see that, but if you look really close, there's like a little orange circle in there. And that's your wireless charging pad. They also sell you the stand in which you can get in different colors to match whichever Orion you chose. And then you could just set this up when it's all said and done to then wirelessly charge in the bay. And it acts as a cool display at the same time. So that's pretty much the wireless. And if you just want to do battery charging, you can still get this in here and go ahead and run this on a just a regular micro USB. They also did include this generic Super Nintendo controller, which is another thing they're selling. And it is the Famicom style, so it does match the Orion and you can get that whole thing going around. And so you can run it through the USB and be rocking and rolling like that as well. Here's the Orion HD and um, looks great in black. I mean, I actually really like black. I ordered the orange one. I don't even think they're offering orange anymore. Um, there's white, frosted, black, beige, yellow, red, blue, green. Um, the gray, just no, I don't think it matches this case perfectly. Um, you can ask them, but based on the battery cover they sent me, it's slightly off. So don't think it's going to all match perfectly. Um, but I wouldn't be too worried about it. Just get what color you want, right? Customize it to your own thing, to your own preference. Now, um, you click this if you already have a CM3 Plus board. Um, that's the actual Raspberry Pi that's inside of this case. Um, if you, if you select this one, you're just going to get the shell plus the USB and the, uh, the, the HDMI, which you'll have to, then you'll just have to grab the board on your own. If you live near a micro center, you can easily get the board or just order it online, but that's actually a really good price considering they'll give you for the, they'll give you the board and a 16 gigabyte pre-flashed in retro pie image for $35. It's pretty good. I think I paid $35 for just my board when I was on Amazon, so that's pretty good. Add a Wi-Fi adapter for 10 more dollars. That's really great for transferring ROMs, unless you already have one, basically it's a USB dongle. Um, a heat sink, $2. Um, if you don't already have a, you have to have a really slim heat sink to fit in there, like a small copper one, otherwise it's $2. The HDMI cable, they sent me one. It's a great HDMI cable if you need one, but a lot of you have one already. And then I showed you the SNES, the Famicom version style controller um, they're giving you five dollars each not bad and then extra charging accessories the batteries here is the wireless charging it does protrude just a little bit but as you saw you get the base you get you know you can have the wireless charger back there you get the cover and um, if you need a pod they have it they have the stand for 20 the micro USB charging cable if you need one live you have that already um, and then the actual batteries themselves so you'll need the um, the battery door cover they sent me one in orange and one in uh, gray as well and just remember it's it's not going to match perfectly but um, it looks good like it's fine so there you go pretty cool Really like that it has some cutouts for some airflow and like I said you can easily swap out images which is cool HDMI and full-size USB ports that's really important here um, it looks a little off 
you know, but I mean, I'm fine with it. It's definitely way better than a lot of the other solutions out there. You still have the L and R button. I now have a wireless charging solution, a wired charging solution, and rechargeable batteries for hours and hours and hours of game time. Remember, I swapped out the D-pad in a separate video and buttons, I'll put link to those. I definitely think it'd be cool to have a little sticker up here or something. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't really protrude all that much from where you're actually holding it. And so, therefore, it's a nice little upgrade. So, you might be wondering, well, what's wrong with it? What, what's, you know, what's the cons? The only thing is, it's just price. You know, you are now taking a case and you have to add another single board computer on top of it. And you have to add in all the, the upgrades that you're going to do. Now, you don't have to do all these upgrades. So, I'd look at each individual one and see which one you're actually going to benefit from. Like, for example, a lot of you already have controllers at home. A lot of you already have HDMI cables at home. So, you might not need to do that. But um, the other thing to compare this to is though a lot of these mini systems you see for like $49.99 and things like that they don't do as much as a Raspberry Pi does. Raspberry Pi, Pi could do Game Boy Advance, can do PlayStation. You can really build these ultimate images with you know adapters and all sorts of things and third-party support. So it's great there. My other con to this is just the plastic. Maybe it was the unit that I received, but the orange filament just seemed a little cheap. However, they do warranty your plastic parts. They said for, I think, in a, for a year. So I do like that. So if you were to break it, you know, you, you can get it fixed. It, so that's pretty much it. That's what I thought. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.